Hello, my wonderful learners of PDMX, JHS1 students. You are welcome to our virtual learning for this week. I hope you are doing great. We thank God for giving us another opportunity to learn. Now, today we are looking at atom, the structure of the atom or atomic structure. You know, in our previous lessons, we talked about elements, compounds, and mixtures. We came across uh, particles of elements, and that is what the atom. We learned that the atom has was subatomic particles. So today we are going to look at the subatomic particles. But before then, I will continue to urge you to stay focused so that by the end of this lesson, you should be able to draw and label the structure of the atom. And two, you should be able to state the electrical charges on the subatomic particles. And three, or lastly, you should be able to outline the differences and similarities between protons and neutrons. So these are our objectives for the day's lesson. Now to move on, we know the meaning of atom. Atom or atoms are particles, the smallest particle of an element that can take part in what chemical reaction. It means that substances or elements are made up of atoms. What are some of these elements? You know, hydrogen, we can also talk about the lithium, sodium, calcium, and the rest. So all these elements contain atoms. And the atom, we have the subatomic particles. So the atom is known to be spherical in shape. And it's also made up of a nucleus which is the central part of the atom. The nucleus contains two particles. These are protons and neutrons. And you know the charges of these nutrients, sorry, this uh, nucleus or the particles. We have the protons being positively charged and neutrons no charge. So we have the structure here. We have the electrons which orbit around the shell, okay, or in the shell or energy level. We also have the central part, which is the nucleus, containing the protons and the neutrons. So this is the structure of the atom. Now let's look at something here. The breakdown of the particle. You know, first we have the atom. An atom has no charge, which means that an atom is electrically neutral, which means also means that the particles of the proton and the electrons, one is positively charged and the other is negatively charged. That is, the electron is negatively charged and the proton is what? Positively charged and therefore their charges cancelled out and de thereby making the atom no charge or without charge. So from here we have the nucleus which also has the subatomic particles that is the neutron and the proton. And when you know the charges, neutron has no charge and proton has what? A positively a charge or is positively charged the electron negatively charged. Now let's look at the table containing the particles, their symbols, their relative mass and the charges that they contain. You know charges are energy energies okay or energy levels of the particles. So first the proton the symbol is P capital P and the relative mass that is the mass of the particle is 1 and the charge is positive 1 or plus 1. 
neutron, the symbol is N, and the relative mass is 1, and the charge is 0, which means no charge. Electron has this chemical symbol E bar on it, or E negative, and it has a relative mass number which is less than 1. That is 1 over 1840, which is approximately 0 0.00054. This is less than 1. That is the mass of the electron, the relative mass of the electron. And it has a charge of negative 1. So this is the charge for electron. Now let's look at the differences between protons, electrons, protons and electrons. Now protons, they are positively charged. They are positively charged. Whereas that of the electrons are negatively charged. So you can indicate that is negative one, sorry, positive one, and this one, the electrons, negative one, that is the charge. And two, the protons are found in the nucleus of the atom. Protons are found in the nucleus of the atom, while the electrons are found in shells around the nucleus. It means that the electrons orbit around the nucleus. And three, the protons have a relative mass of one, and that of the electrons have a relative mass of one over 1840 or 0 0.000543, which is less than one. And four, Protons, they are determined, they are used to determine the mass of the atom. Or they determine the mass of the atom. But with the electrons, they determine the electrical property of the atom. They determine the electrical property of the atom. Whether it's negatively charged or the charge is positive or negative. Or, you know, charges, we have the ions, which can also be a uh, casein or anion. So that is the electrons for you. Now let's look at the similarities between protons and electrons. Similarities between protons and electrons. What they have in common. That is the similarities we are talking about here. Now you can see that uh, both are charged species or particles. Both are charged species or particles. And two, both are subatomic particles. The electrons and the protons are subatomic particles. And three, in a neutral atom, both can be used to determine the atomic number and mass number. Once again, in a neutral atom, both can be used to determine atomic number and mass number. So these are similarities between protons, electrons, or protons and electrons. Very good. Now let's look at something here. We've talked about the atomic structure. Therefore, when you are asked to draw any element or the structure of any element, this is how to go about it, or this is how to draw it. But bear in mind that every element and its atomic number. So we use the atomic number, number to indicate the electrons. Therefore, the number of electrons is the same as the atomic number or the atomic number and the electrons or the number of electrons is what we use to represent on um, the structure so example let's quickly look at something how to draw the structure of 
lithium. Now, if you have lithium atom and you want to represent it in a diagram form, first you indicate the nucleus of your element. So, lithium, the symbol is Li. And we know that it's a third element on the table. And therefore, the number of electrons are three. So, we have it in the ratio from which is uh, 2 is to 1. So you draw your nucleus or the central region of your element. Then you draw the first shell or the orbit level. You give it two electrons. Then you draw the last shell. And this one, you give it another electron. That is the last electron. The two here means that the first shell can contain only two maximum of electrons. And therefore, you have to create another energy level for the electron, the other electron. Now, when you, you are done drawing, don't forget to label your structure. Always label your diagrams. So over here we have the electrons here. We label it nicely. Electrons. You have the shell or energy level. The shell or energy level or orbit. Orbit. We also have the nucleus. We have the nucleus here, which consists of the protons and the neutrons so after drawing you make sure that you label your structure well so this is how we can draw and label the structure of any atom this is where time will permit us to end today's lesson i hope we've learned a lot today continue to practice and re uh, revise your notes you can try one of the elements at home. This is where we will end the lesson. God bless you. Until we meet again. Bye-bye.